What marks a good sender? And number one, they raise their sons and daughters to be goers. If they, John Payton, um, he returned to Scotland in kind of the middle of his ministry and they were singing a hymn and the chorus went something like, send our sons and daughters glorious to the nations abroad. And he got up at a church podium and he said, everybody loves to sing that hymn as long as we're talking about somebody else's sons and daughters. Everybody loves the idea of family and family living around us, but what if we raised our sons and daughters as these temporary trusts so where someday they're going to stand before the King of Kings and to raise them in such a way requires that we put in front of them heroes and heroes that did something with their lives and maybe it cost them everything. Mm -hmm. But I think as you do that, one, Christian biography helps a ton. And then two, good churches kind of help identify young people and say, hey, you might be cut out to go to the mission field. You should start praying and thinking about this one.